Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and we're doing another blessing box giveaway. I hope you guys are having a great day. I want to, as always, thank everyone who donates to blessing boxes. If you're new here, blessing boxes are where my crafty friends on YouTube and uh, from Ginger's Corner Facebook group will send me things when they're cleaning out their space that they're tired of playing with or they have a couple because some of us double buy, <laughs> right? Or they just want to bless someone and maybe get rid of a few things. And what I do is I put different kits together and we do lots of giveaways, including in this video. So stay till the end and you will see the winner of last week's. You'll see what we're gonna give away this week. And in between, we're gonna look out of a bunch of cool paper. <laughs> We really are. And I want to thank everyone who uses um, the Timu links, who uses the Amazon links to shop, the little bit of kickback. It's not much, but you know, pennies add to dollars. Um, it helps me pay for postage and it helps allow us to also include our international swappers. I want to thank everyone who watches the commercials in my videos because the little bit that I get from that also helps pay for postage. Postage isn't cheap and I want to continue to do this. So I am very grateful for everyone because when you watch those videos, I would say that almost 80% of the income I use to um, do the blessing boxes, I still do a lot out of my pocket. I mean, just two days ago, I spent 60 bucks for the post office. It's not, but I want to thank you because it does add up and it does help me a lot. So I appreciate you watching those videos, clicking those affiliate links, um, and just know that you're blessing other people by doing that. Honestly, I, uh, between the two of us, we pay for the postage. So I just can't thank you guys enough. I know you think to, you're not doing anything, but you truly are. Truly you are, and it means a lot to me and everyone else. So let's just have some fun. This week is donated. It is a repeat offender. <laughs> so this is from Miss Kathleen. She has donated before, and I didn't even know. I don't think she messaged me this time that this one was coming, but um, she has definitely blessed many many people and she is going to do so again so let's just um give her a big shout out and a thank you and she made this beautiful card isn't this gorgeous now you guys know me i will save the front of this card and inside she gave me a beautiful memory decks look at this isn't that nice that is so cool it's like clouds um so thank you so much kathleen for thinking of all of us and for sharing joy. Like truly that's what you're doing. And, and I am so grateful to um, be a part of that as well. So thank you very much. All right, so here we go. We're gonna have fun. Now I'm gonna set this aside. It's a whole baggie and I'm not even sure what's in there, but we're gonna set this aside. <laughs> we're gonna go one thing at a time. Here is a happy planner sticker book. Lots of fun stickers. Now I'm not sure where this will end up. It may end up in I have a couple things for a planner and I know I have subscribers that are journalers and um, like to do like the month in review and that. So I might just stick it in that kit. This would only be like the third thing in there, but eventually it'll be big enough to give away. So maybe it'll end up in there. I'm not really sure yet. If you have a suggestion, put it in the comments. I always answer and I'm open to any suggestion. Then we have some beautiful titles. You could, this is like a movie reel and this is on nice heavy cardstock. You could cut it out. You could do individual, whatever you like. Um, maybe in the family kit, we'll see. You're hearing me talk about different kits because every blessing box is a hodgepodge. Well, sometimes not though. Sometimes people are very organized even in their purge, but um, unlike me. But um, I will add it to different kits and that'll make more sense at the end because you'll see the kit that I come up with for this giveaway. And so definitely I'll talk about, oh, this is gonna go here, this is gonna go there. Now this one has hearts and flowers. I'm seeing wedding. Does anybody else see wedding? Um, and I, I'm not sure, I love scraps. You guys know, I love scraps. Uh, maybe we'll make some base pages. I mean, eventually I'll stop getting 
blessing boxes and we'll make some base pages to give away. Maybe I'll just put it in the wedding kit and see if I can't bulk it up and make some fun things. We'll see what happens. Maybe put it, cut it down to six by six and give it in a card kit. Who knows where it went up. Um, Story Club. Um, I remember these. I love these. A lot of people love them. I think this would be a great way to start a kit, right? I could use this and build off of it with some black and white. I have lots of black and white. And I could maybe do some red and white elements. I don't know. We'll see. Friends, very like teeny bopper girl. That's what I get when I see that. Then Kathleen said that these were page kits. So we'll go through these last, okay? Um, she said the ones in bags were page kits. And now we're just going to go through some pretty paper. Now, I don't know if she stamped on Look how gorgeous that is. Eight and a half and 11. We have eight and a half and 11 scrappers. We all used to scrap that at one time. So very pretty. I'm not, you could fussy cut them. You could use them as a block design. There's a lot that could be done with these. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I know this is a creative memories paper all day long. I sold creative memories back in the day, a long time ago. Very pretty. I have made kits with this before. And then we're just gonna get into the papers. Now you guys know, I'm just gonna flip through. If it has B side, I will show it. Otherwise we'll be here for 10 days. <laughs> this is very pretty. I'm kind of, okay. So Jilly Joe, let me tell you a story. Y'all know me, I talk too much. I'm gonna talk and flip at the same time. Jilly Joe is into this like Ivy fairy stuff and she's doing her room and oh goodness. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank goodness for team. <laughs> that really actually, uh, the pink's not quite right, but this is very pretty. Be a wonderful page kit starter. Very pretty pink papers. We've got Bonafide, One of a Kind, One of a Kind You. This is really cool. This would make a very nice masculine teen boy. That's what I see there. Okay, we have several of those. Then we've got... Maybe, this is maybe a little too girly to go with this. Definitely could make a page kit off of this though. And then we've got some blue. We've got some print, kind of a family vibe. And that goes really well with it. These go really well together, right? And we've got some doilies on a blue background. Oh, here's this paper again. So let me, as I go, I try to sort it so I can keep it all together. Because if I have multiples, I do put the page kits together. Oh. I am loving this one. It's feathers and it's a deep red. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to keep it. I don't need no paper. <laughs> Here's a beautiful flower. This would make a great summer spring kit, girl kit, anything you would like. Mother's Day kit, pretty stripe. We have a few of those. Some gorgeous florals. Some more stripes. Some more polka dots. Wonderful geometrics. And here's a paisley. Ooh, that kind of looks like dominoes, doesn't it? And it's got like a mixed media feel to it. That's pretty. I've never seen any of these. After a while, you start to see all the papers, you think. These must have all come out of a pretty paper pad. Gorgeous. I can make some gorgeous kits. Gorgeous papers. I love floral all day long. Some more paisley. This has more of a peachy pink tone. Some more polka dots. Boy, that, nah, clashes too much for me, but that's really pretty. I like that polka dot. I'm not a huge polka dot person, but see, this, this to me, all day long. You could do the, all three, throw a brown in there, maybe a couple browns, and wouldn't that be a pretty page kit? And you'd get multiples. You could do double pages, whatever you like. In fact, I'm going to keep that aside. That, that would make a pretty page kit. Okay, so purple and a teal and some more paisleys. Did we have more than one of that? I think we did. I'll have to look. Oh, yep, right there. See, now this would even maybe go. We're going to keep those papers together over here. And then we've got almost like a plaid, not quite, a little too big for that. Pink and a very pink, um, elegant paper hold from this day. Oh, yeah, wedding paper all day long. Pretty red. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So this gives me a watercolor mixed media vibe. I could definitely, you know what this would be pretty with? Some 49 and Market paper. Wouldn't that be pretty with it? I think it would. Just food for thought. <laughs> Scrap and Dreams, that's the name of that one. Then we've got a yellow stripe. 
we've got an orange geometric. Ooh, that almost has a book fill. Greens, some pretty pink, another stripe, pretty red, hearts. Got some Valentine kits I've been making. Before we know it, Christmas is gonna be here and gone and it's gonna be Valentine's Day. Some orange. Then we definitely have some blue. Start of a wonderful page kit. You could just put solids in with this and make a very cute baby boy page. Very cute. Then we've got some teeny 1980s <laughs> TV video vibes, right? Oh, mm, this is very nice. I love military papers. I am very patriotic. Um, I would probably put it in a 4th of July kit. Absolutely. Oh, look. Speaking of, very cool. Oh, that's a nice abstract. I've never seen that before. Oh, we've got a polka dot. Oh, we got some zebras. I will be putting that in the zoo kit 100%. Another polka dot. Um, has like a, fl a red floral and then, I don't know, it's almost like stems, but it doesn't really look like stems. Catch 22. Girls, teenagers, all day long is what I'm seeing. Um, This would go for that fairy vibe. And then on the back is a pretty pink. I'd probably file it under pink and then build a kit with it, but that's really cool. It's different, like Jack and the Beanstalk going on. And we got a stripe and another pretty pink. We've got a pretty checker um, on the back is that one. And a blue teal and oh that has to go in summer and that summer vibes all day long i'm not too keen on this side but that's just because it's not my color everybody does something different right definitely could do something with that for sure then um we're gonna set that aside i'm assuming that's probably a page kit oh look at this isn't that gorgeous <gasps> that's pretty i could build a whole kit off of that with some purple and green purple and green go very well together so there's a couple of those. Then we've got a couple of these. Let's let's maybe do a colored paper. Oh, that sure is it colored. Well, it's colored. It's a lot of colors. Let's see here. Maybe we could get it to show up. There we go. Pretty pink. Put that in a, a Mother's Day. You could put that in a wedding. What do we got here? Um, one would think I'd catch on and stop taking away. Just abstract, right? Maybe some Chinese writing. I do have an oriental kit going on, so we'll see. Oh, these are so fun. Look at this acetate. Oh, it's been years since I played with these. I used to buy these quite often, actually. That is so pretty. And I will tell you, so hard to use. And here's why. Because your first instinct is to want to journal on here. But your journal pens don't work that great. So what I used to do is I used to take a pencil and I used to draw the lines. And then I would journal and then I would erase the lines and I would put this on top and line it up. That's what I used to do. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Definitely could put these in mixed media. Masculine kit. Oh, I love that one. That one's probably my favorite. That's cool. I really like that with the ascot, as, ascot, how do you say that? Yeah, you guys know me in words. Aloha, we're going to Hawaii, tropical kit. Um, I put this in the wedding. Yeah, I think it would look good in a wedding. Okay, our family, these are amazing. These are so cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. How do you guys use these? See, I used to basically do my page and I would pencil and I would like, Put everything down and then put this on top of it. Did, is that how you guys used to do it? Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. It's kind of outside the community at that point. Um, our family. That's really pretty. Some fall. Never. Ooh, these are textured. Oh, those are pretty. That's pretty. I like the birdies. Okay. These must all be out of the same paper pad. Could pair this up with some music paper. Some pretty red. Oh, how cute. This will go in the zoo kit. That's so cute. Valentine's, you could even put this, I could put this in the sewing quilt because there are quilt patterns like this. That would be cute, cute too. Oh, look at that abstract. That's cool, block design, pretty leaves. Boy, those are different colors, right? You think fall for leaves and those are definitely different. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess it would be a really happy layout. Hmm. I don't know, I've never seen that. It's cool. I like this one, this one's pretty. 
pretty pretty and then solid on the back well i guess polka dot but i'm going to consider it a solid then we've got some border strips on each side why do i when i see this i want to pair frogs up with it i don't know why i think it's all the jumping i don't know but it's cool okay this is very pretty. I love the elements on this. I like it when the paper can do the work. Is anybody else that way? Then we've got this one here with a green on the back. Definitely a paper pad, several of those. A rainbow kit. Now I have a up in the air, anything that's in the sky kit going on. And I'm including clouds, rainbows. I don't know why, but I've gotten a lot of like weather um, related papers. So I will add that to it. This one as well. I went on the back are raining clouds. Look at that. And there's the back of that one. Then we've got some beautiful gold. I just, um, I have a wedding kit that I'm doing right now that is gold and, mm, is it pink? I don't want to say pink. I don't think it is. It's gold in another color that I'm working on. I gave away the other ones that people could use. Some raindrops could definitely put that in the weather. And on the back is a, it's not really a chevron. Whew, that, that makes my eyes hurt. It does. I don't know where I would use that. It has a texture to it though. I like these. This is cool a lot. But we all like different things, right? Got several of those. Oh goodness, several. And then we have, um, this reminds me we used to sponge our walls with paint. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I love the feel of this paper. You know what this would be good for? Cards. <gasps> this would be a good card paper. It really would. Oh, the texture on that is just divine. And we've got a fun pink and gold um, maze, right? Gives me Vicky Booten vibes. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. It just doesn't come out. Peachy paper. This is only an A side. Peach and gold. This is pretty a photo play. I actually have this line. I love this paper. I bought extras of this paper. I will make a page kit from this to give away at Valentine's. Then we've got, gives you kind of a beachy vibe, right? Red and white. Gives you a mini and Mickey vibe. I do have a Disney kit going on. Vintage kind of feel. And oh, this, I might, I might take this one. Okay. You guys know mustard is not my color, but can you see the embossing on this? And it's got that ivy garden feel. You might see me use this one. I might have to message her and say, I kept one of the papers. Oh, oh this will definitely go in a family heritage kit. We have a few of those actually, several. This is so fun. So fun, I love this. I, I love this paper. These are fun to play with. And usually one side's a little crazy, like this one, but then this side, you could build a whole kit around a birthday. I mean, it looks like a big old thing of balloons, doesn't it? I think it's really fun. Pretty green, pretty ivy. Oh, look, I could match that up with this. It would go. Oh, see now next to that, you can see that embossing better. It's pretty. I don't know why I'm so into ivy lately, but I really am. Um, pretty blue. My friend Terry would love this paper. You could fussy cut these too. These would make beautiful embellishments. Um, I would probably put this in Heritage Family. It's really pretty. Ooh, a marble. Fancy, fancy. We've got quite a few of them. Different colors. Oh, black and white. Mickey and Minnie would love it. Ooh, look at that wood grain. Oh, and then it has the mixed media feel. Oh, I've already made the fall kits. By the time you guys see this, will we have given those away? I don't know. We should be right smack dab in the middle when you guys see this. I might have to add these. I have a foliage giveaway kit that we're doing. I think I'm going to add these to it. Those are pretty because it's a bunch of foliage papers and those would go really well. Then we have this crazy pattern that you know who cannot say that there it is in brown. <laughs> Some Halloween paper. I could definitely add that to some Halloween kits. We've got chevron in red, pink, orange, green, teal, blue, purple. They're all in order. Pink. <laughs> pink. Love that. Um, immortal love. Ooh, fancity, dancity. I know. I'm just, I just thought I know. It's just making me feel good. Mm, that almost gives you 
a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves spooky vibe when she eats the apple, right? That's cool. I love this element. I don't know that I wouldn't cover up the apple, but that would be like a sophisticated Halloween, maybe. Very pretty. These are neat. <gasps> I love this red. This is, When I say I love red, mm, this deep satiny, oh, it's just, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Bitten. Ooh, that's kind of spooky for me. I don't do Halloween well. Oh, now this is beautiful. I love that. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Reds. That's really pretty too. That would be pretty in like a wedding if your color was red and white and black. That would be pretty. And then we've got, this is a whole paper pad. Oh, wow. Kind of, um, what is that Renaissance vibe? That's kind of what I'm getting here. Very cool. I like that's kind of spooky. There we go. I'm keep on going like a satiny black. Oops, I think I skipped one. Oh, it's just another one of those. Very, very cool. You could definitely adapt some of these to wedding papers. You really, really could. Very pretty. Like if you had a blue, black, and white, this would be gorgeous. Okay, there's all of that. Thank you, thank you so much, Miss Kathleen. And then look, we have these little page kits. So let's see what we got going on. Now, I don't know if Kathleen made these. I'm going to assume that she did. And let's see here. We've got, we've got floral. Okay. Oh, look how pretty those go together. This is a gorgeous kit. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. That is so pretty. So there's that one. And then we have kind of a horse themed one. Oops, oops. Now remember, if you have a need, reach out to me. Your crafty friends have donated all of these. Yes, I help and I pay for a lot of the postage, but these are from your friends. And if you have a need, let's say you're working on a horse album, you have a child or you yourself takes horse, you know, riding lessons, reach out to me. I'm happy to share. I will send you whatever I have to send because I can't keep it all in my space forever. I just can't. This is, oh, this is, this, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, what I would do to keep just this paper. This is very native. I love this paper. I have never seen this paper. Oh, Kathleen, tell me where this paper came from, please. <laughs> that is gorgeous, but I will not break up this kit because this goes very well together. I would maybe add a couple of papers, but this is drop dead gorgeous. I love this. But like I said, if you have a need, oh, there's a brown. Um, reach out to me for sure. And we'll see if I can't help you. If I can't, I'll put you on the list and I'll keep an eye out. Oh, look at that. Is that one? No, there's two there because that is really thick. And a saddle. These are gorgeous. I love turquoise. I have to tell you, red will always be my heart's desire. But turquoise is a close second. And if you're native, it's just embedded in you. <laughs> That's just how it is. You guys are lucky I don't have turquoise rings all over. Uh, I used to wear a ring on every finger. But nah, I don't know. You get to an age where that doesn't mean that much to you anymore. Okay, so this is American Craft Paper. I don't know if this is another page kit or not. It says La La Love on it. Is it just one paper? Um, Yes, yes it is. Okay then, I'll just add that to the Valentine's stuff. All right, there's that, those page kits. And we got this. I know, I create a mess, right? Beautiful card. We'll definitely reuse that. Now I have this baggie of things. I have no idea what's in here. A brand new pack of Little Birdie. Um, these are like popped up on foam. I love the mason jars. Put this in the Mother's Day kit I have going on for next year. In fact, it even has these like purplish uh, pink flowers in it. So it'll match perfectly. Now I'm going to guesstimate and say most of this. No, there's some bigger papers in here. Let me pull it out, see what I can come up with. What we got here. It's like it's like a mystery bag. It's fun. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't want to tear the baggie. Okay, so we have lots of cut aparts, some hearts, and you guys know I take these and I will 
I wonder if she stamped these. Did you stamp these? They have gorgeous, some like journaling blocks. Um, I will take and I will put them in appropriate kits. And so every kit, usually, even if you don't see it, I'm putting some in there. Because I do get a lot of these, but I spread them out and make them go um, in kits that make sense. So definitely, I sit in front of the TV and I sort them. My husband likes to tease me. Okay, so there's some of those, and we have all different ones. Um, that would go really cool in the school kit um, that I'm making for next year, because we already gave away this year's. Lots of fun. That, that would almost go, oh yeah. Okay, these two are, go remember, don't forget, I got these papers going on. See what I mean? Like, those would go really well. We And since we have gold elements, then I could add some of the gold um, element paper. Some bigger pieces of paper these are basically like scraps so what i would do like that one i had this paper pad um i had this whole collection it's like a birthday collection so um i would do that maybe put them some of it in the school because stuff with numbers on it goes really good in school kids too not just birthdays that's how we don't get tired of it so fast or at least that's how i don't get tired of it as fast Okay, and I'll just sort these and put them in appropriate kits to just give you a little extra stuff in there. Okay, then we have some birthday stickers. Fun, fun, and another pretty scrap. Um, this says friends. I would put that in the school kit, um, most likely. Valentine's kits, Easter kit. Um, see what I mean? Just a uh, spring kit. Um, maybe keep those two together. And this kind of gives me Vicky Booten vibes. I do have another Vicky Booten kit started. I've given away two already. Spring. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, these are really pretty. Of course, I think everything's pretty. Probably not the person to ask. I'm a little biased. If it's paper, I probably like it. Okay. So then we have some. Looks like these are probably four by six. I'm guesstimating. These remind me of journaling bits. Aren't those like a vintage vibe? But see, even then, look, I could take that and put it in. A, I have a food kit going on. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I could put that in there. Oh, those match that paper. Did you see it? <gasps> Come back here. Come back. I know you were there. It's trying to hide from me. Stop trying to hide. See that? Remember, we had that. That was the very first paper that she gifted us. Okay. So there's that. Then we have some maybe six by eight pad papers. Um, like that one I'd put in the 4th of July. Um, I'll just sort all of these, right? Eight by eights. And I would make them fit. Like there's another one, like a backyard barbecue. I might stick this one in the outdoor kit. I think I'm going to. Why not? Um, that one could go in the zoo. It's elephants. Like it, it just, it'll make sense. Where, or at least to me it will. I don't know, maybe it won't make sense to anyone else. Put that in the um, in the sky kit. Lots of fun. Lots of fun elements. So Kathleen, I want to thank you for your sweet, sweet gift. You're going to bless many. And I just, I'm so honored to be a part of this community. I really am. All right, so let's pick last week's winner. And then I'm going to show you what you're going to have a chance to win this week. Hang in there. All right, you guys, let's see who the winner is for last week's blessing box. Now, if you happen to be the winner, you can send me a shout out with your mailing information Information as, let's see here, wait, before I finish, Lori Bauer, pardon me, Lori Bauer, you are the winner of last week's blessing box. As I was going to say, I wasn't talking fast enough. Shocker, I know. <laughs> My contact information is in the description of this video. Or Lori, I know you are also a swapper over on the Facebook group, so you can message me your info and we will get that mailed out to you. Congratulations and let's see what we're going to do this week. All right, congratulations to the winner. Make sure you give a shout out either through um, Facebook Messenger over on Ginger's Corner and or through um 
the email that is left in the description of this video. If you aren't part of Ginger's Corner, we would love to have you. We do lots of giveaways on there that are not included on YouTube that come from these blessing boxes. So I hope you'll join us. Just make sure you answer those questions. Um, you won't be approved if you don't because we have a concept of giving and receiving with a loving heart. Sometimes you give more, sometimes you receive more. So you do it with the intention of just blessing someone. Um, that is the main concept and that there's no wrong way. So I really do hope you'll come and join us. Thanks again to everyone who donates to the blessing boxes and whether it's big or small together, we make it a lot of fun for everyone. So I really wanna thank you for that. Now let's just get into what you can win this time. So I went off of this since it's a spookity month. We're going to give away this die cuts with a view entire paper pad. And what I did was, remember we flipped through it. I went and I thought black, white, and red. That That's where we're at, right? Um, so I pulled out some black and white and some fun stuff. So you'll get this paper pad. Now you get two chances to win, right? You can comment on this video on YouTube. You don't have to be a member of Ginger's Corner and get a chance to win. You can also comment on the Facebook group of Ginger's Corner, join us on the posted video of this video and have a second entry. So if you do both, you get two chances to win and I want you to comment trick or treat. Yeah, before I even show you, I'm gonna tell you what to comment. So. Comment trick or treat to be entered to win. I've also included two of, um, now I know this has a blue background, but these are red and they match very well. And there is glitter. Let me see if I can find that right here. So I went off of that and we've got black and I've got the red ones, even though they have a blue background. Then I did some eight by eight papers. Again, I went with that black and white theme. These match, <laughs> like honestly, look, I mean, does that, it's pretty darn close. So you're gonna get that, there's several of those. I'm gonna give you this whimsy stamp set, um, and then I'm also gonna give you this spooky looking owl. So you will get two stamps. Then I'm gonna give you a Timu die. It is a potion bottle. You can actually make a shaker out of this or use it um, as a layering technique, whatever you would like. Then I'm gonna give you these acetate papers that I um, we got in today's blessing box from Miss Kathleen. Um, we will get both of these that are pretty generic, but they could easily be used and go well. Then we've got red papers, kind of that love mystery feel. I have been waiting to give these to something because these are beautiful. You probably can't tell, but there is like a mixed media element to these and they would go very well with these papers, like extremely well. It has the same kind of vibe. So, and oh, there's another eight by 10. I included those. I'm sorry, we'll just, we'll just poke those in there. Some more red and then this kind of, you know, spooky vibe. So a couple of those. Some more black and white paper, just like that. Some more red, and that's the whole kit. So going on kind of a Halloween theme, I'm pretty sure that this will be either the week before Halloween or the week of Halloween, this will post. So comment what I said earlier um, for a chance to win. You guys, thank you again. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's always so fun to go through basically grab boxes, right? <laughs> like grab bags and see what we can come up with. You will be seeing the other things at another time. And remember, whatever I don't use, I have a crafty friend, Sarissa, who actually teaches paper crafts in a high school. And I donate any papers that I can't figure out how to fit into a kit to her. And her high school students are loving them. So far, I've sent her two big um, flat rate boxes and she says they are just tickled pink because they love all the variety that they're getting. So you guys are blessing to not just your community, but to kids who will be paper crafting. So that's really exciting. You guys, I adore you. I love reading your comments. I don't answer all the blessing boxes, but I always read them and I give you a little heart because <laughs> as you can tell, the blessing boxes videos, they are like, they have the most comments and it would take me forever. Only one person, just one. But definitely, definitely um, enter to win, comment. I'll see you later. Be blessed. All of that good stuff. Bye-bye.